Is Michigan finally back on the right track? Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the state capitol in Lansing. Our topic today is the Michigan economy. Joining us now to talk about it is Senator Dave Hildenbrand, a Republican from the 29th District, which represents the city of Grand Rapids and some surrounding suburbs. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Well, it seems as though there are so many positives to talk about right now when it comes to our state and what uh, uh, you folks in Lansing have been able to accomplish over the last year. Uh, there's more jobs, there's uh, less tax burden, there's less regulations. Uh, but is it all going to continue and for how long? Well, I think we made a lot of progress in Michigan. You know, when we started our work a couple years ago in the state legislature and in Lansing here, uh, Michigan was at the bottom of a lot of lists. We were the highest unemployment rate of any state in the country. Uh, people were leaving our state. We had low per capita income. So we were at the bottom of a lot of lists. And so a lot of us ran for office and we came here to Lansing with a new govern governor to try and make some change and sort of retool Michigan. And I think we made a lot of progress. And uh, our work isn't done. The data shows that we're on the right track, so we can't let our foot off the gas and we gotta have to continue uh, the, the work we're doing. What would you say is uh, perhaps or was the, the biggest accomplishment? Was it getting rid of that, that crazy uh, Michigan business tax or, or were there things that were even more influential? I think that was one of our biggest accomplishments was repealing the Michigan business tax and replacing it with a sort of simple, fair, what we call the corporate income tax in Michigan. It's a simple tax. Our businesses take their federal gross income and apply a, a flat rate to it, and it's just a one to two page document, and their taxes are done. So that created a lot of certainty for our job providers in Michigan, and uh, it just created a, a better stable environment to do business. A lot of us talked about that government doesn't create jobs, but we have a responsibility to create a better environment. And so it's taxation and regulations, uh, what a lot of us, including myself, are focusing our work and attention on to create that better environment for individuals and job providers to, to be in Michigan, to stay in Michigan, and to invest in Michigan. And that's what we'll continue to work at. It seems like perhaps for, for the first time in a long time, common sense has sort of prevailed. And uh, we're seeing things like the budget getting done on time or some debt getting paid off. And just things that you would have expected to have happened all along that weren't happening are finally taking place. They are. We, we spent a lot of time in crafting a budget that's a balanced budget that begins to put money away in a rainy day fund when times are tough again in Michigan. Uh, we are paying down some of our long-term liabilities and debts. So we've really put together a structure of a budget that creates certainty and stability in our state, which will go a long way to keep people here, attract people to Michigan. You know, we have a beautiful state with a lot of things to offer. So I'm very optimistic about uh, the improvements we've made and the sort of the future of our state. Is it that there's more bipartisan uh, folks uh, working together or is state government just becoming more responsible? And uh, what's the change uh, in the last year or two that seems to have common sense prevailing? Well, I think the voters about a year and a half ago sent people to Lansing, a new governor and a new legislature, uh, with the mindset of we're going to make tough decisions, we're going to make bold decisions, we're going to be decisive in creating a better Michigan. And a lot of the decisions and choices that we're forced to make aren't easy ones, but we're all here working together in an effort to try and make Michigan a better place. That's the end goal that we all have. And of course, at times things aren't easy. And of course, we're doing things that are controversial, but we all have in mind what we can do here in Michigan to make it a better place. And I think we're, we're making progress, like I said, we have more work to do and, and we certainly won't let our fr foot off the gas. Well, very quickly, what do you say to all those folks? And there are huge groups of them all over the place that think the government's uh, going all crazy in the wrong direction and, and they're not happy about what's being done. Well, we, we live in a republic, in a democracy where not everybody is going to agree with everyone. But uh, I think we're set in a direction that's going to benefit everybody, uh, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or you live in Detroit or the Upper Peninsula or in Grand Rapids, where I'm from. Um, I think everybody will benefit from the changes that we're making. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was State Senator Dave Hildenbrand, a Republican from the 29th District.